In addition to the types of blocks we have seen so far, there are other blocks we can use to build a page. Let's take a look at the others. Let's start by clicking on Admin Panel. And then on Pages. We enter the name of the page we want to create, which will also be what will be displayed in the navigation menu. And click on Create Page. The handle will be used by the automation scripts, and it cannot have special characters or spaces. We will enter the name of the page without special characters or spaces. To actually build the page, we click on Page Builder. And then on Add Block. Let's click on Content. The content block allows to insert fixed content to be shown to all who visit the page. That can be a welcome message with instructions for the page for example, or other static content we want to display. We enter the title. And then click on the content tab. Now, we enter the text we want to display by using the rich text editor. To confirm, we click on Add Block. And we resize the content block as we like. Now, we will add a block to show the Twitter feed from the Corteza project. We click on Add Block. And then on Twitter feed. We enter the title. And click on the Twitter feed tab. We paste the Twitter profile URL that we had previously copied. We click on Add Block to confirm. And we resize and move it where we see fit. To have a button which allows us to trigger the automation scripts on the platform, we use the automation block. In this example, we will add a button able to create new opportunities. We click on Add Block. And then on Automation. We enter the title. And click on the Automation tab. We select the script CRM account create new opportunity. And we modify the label. We click on Add Block to confirm. And then we place it where we want. We can also add a calendar by using the Calendar block. We click on Add Block. And then on Calendar. We enter the title. And click on the Calendar tab. We select what will be shown on the calendar. And then we click on the Configure Events Source tab. To set up the source of the events which will be shown on our calendar, we click on Add Event Source. And select Records. Then we select the Module Event, which contains the events we want to show. We pick a color for the events. We select the field to be shown as the title of the event. Then, we select the fields containing the start and the end date for the event. To finish, we click on Add Block. Then we resize the calendar block and move it where we see fit. Let's add a file block now. Like the content block, the file block allows us to display in a fixed way, one or more files with different display options. In this example, we will create a gallery of three images. We click on Add Block. And then on File. We enter the title. Then we click on the File tab. We click on the central gray button to add the files. We select the files and we confirm. We click on Add Block to insert the block. Then, we resize the file block. However, our gallery is not displaying any preview of the images. To do so, we click on the Edit button. And on the File tab. Then we click on Gallery of Images, to enable the gallery view. And finally we save and close. Then, we resize the file block and move it where we want. 
Last, the iframe block allows to embed into our page some website or a web page. For example, let's embed a traffic live cam into our page. We click on add block. And then on iframe. We enter the title. Then we click on the iframe tab. We paste the webcam URL that we had previously copied. We click on add block to confirm. And then we resize and move it where we see fit. To confirm the layout of our new page we click on save and close. If we scroll down, we will see the newly created page. We drag additional info under dashboards. This way, additional info will show under the dashboard menu item. We click on public pages. and we see additional info under Dashboard on the main menu. 